It's the top ranked Alabama Crimson Tide against the Louisville Cardinals. Mason King to punt to Jalen Waddle, number 17 for Alabama. One of the newcomers on this team is a freshman from Houston, small, very fast guy. They believe he can make a contribution as a returner, as a receiver, and he steps up and makes a fair catch at the 20-yard line. First down. And they flip it in the flat. Catch made by Jalen Waddle. And the freshman with his first career catch moves the ball down inside the 15. Well, I can't wait to watch more of the true freshman Waddle. Coaches have told us even in camp, they knew watching him on film, it's another thing to see it in camp against your own defense. You give him the smallest of spaces and he's going to get through and get a lot of yards. They say he's as quick as anybody they have. Top five wide receiver group. Houston private school Did player. Looks downfield, running free. Jalen Waddle makes the catch inside the 10. The sign of things to come for the talented tied freshman out of Houston. Watch the receiver Judy right here work across the middle, which occupies the middle safety. Take the safety away, open up the middle, and it takes time. Good job by the offensive line, and the true freshman extends at 5'10", 177 pounds to hold on to that football. Finger trick grab in the back of the football. Mental errors ruin a once promising Louisville drive. And King boots it down to the 15-yard line, and there's Waddle who had the big catch earlier. Look out, bounces off a teammate, still pinballing around. He's just an electric guy. It's going to be like that when he touches the ball for his career at Alabama, right? Oh, yeah. 805. What a monster alpha he was in the playoff. And the interception yep. against Clemson made 12 tackles against Georgia in the national championship game. Waddle cuts back. Breaks a tackle. Still alive. And this freshman is going to be an electric returner. You'll see him making plays out of the slot position as well. Just when they need another big playmaker in Alabama. Yeah. And, and the timing of that, the defense gets to three and out. They get a punt return, 27 seconds to go, and they're thinking about points again. It wasn't the most egregious hole they've seen in the pit. Team with a low punt, Waddle at the 20, already made one spectacular return tonight. Shows the quick burst and gets out across the 35-yard line. Was about, uh, but you know, he knows Coach Tox is going to do a great job, and yeah, he has been this, this game. Uh, so you know, he's going to probably uh, just be hands on like he is. Okay. Jalen Waddle takes off in the public turn. There's a flag down, two of them way behind the play. So the Tide's second special team touchdown tonight likely to be nullified. But again, number 17, electric as a returner. And he's going to be a serious threat that you're going to have to contend with every time you play this team. Just kick away from him. Nothing. It's a different game. And that's what teams are going to have to defend this year as Mike Loxley calls the plays. And Hurts with the throw to the far side. This is Waddle, the freshman, the electric returner, spun down inside the 30. Let's go, dog. Let's go. For just a minute. <laughs> you know, take the pass, the last pass he completed and where it was placed. Nice placement here, right back to Waddle. Look at this kid run. The freshman took the nation by storm, returning punts last week in Orlando. He dances and dazzles for a gain of nine here. He's just a talent in which you want to get Waddle the ball in space. Episcopal High School right there in Houston, Texas. And came in as a true, you know, obviously a true freshman, but has really climbed the receiver depth chart in a hurry. They realized exactly what they had, not only as a receiver, but as a return. And so that leads to maybe the heavyweight matchup of the game, Andre Ware. On the left, the freshman from Houston, the dynamic punt returner, Jalen Waddle. <laughs> on the right, the punter from Australia, Cody Grace, one of the nation's best. This is all season they allowed eight yards in the punt return game. I think if you can avoid punting the Waddle, you do just that. Alabama's coming for it. Grace gets it away. Good punt. Waddle, fair catch, called for, muffed it. Balls up in the air, muffed by an Arkansas State player, and there is a scrum. Looks like Alabama got back on top of it. 
Alabama football after the bottle off the fair catch attempt by Jalen Waddle. Well, just opportunity after opportunity going the way of the Crimson Tide. Arkansas State right there to make a play and maybe come up with a muff punt, some field position. Once again, it goes over to Alabama to play with a tremendous amount of confidence. And with the physical gifts mixed, mixed with that, that's scary. Jalen Waddle finally has a chance to return a punt, but not much. Another booming kick from Cody Grace. 43 yards, no return. It gives Alabama an element around here that they just haven't had in a while. So many quotes. I live in Ohio, and it was like that, that tie, breaking their losing streak with the tie was the most Cleveland thing ever. <laughs> Tungo Bailoa all day to throw it. Uh, it's going to be a costly penalty. They they defended the play well. They forced the underneath throw. They ran to the football, but Great they hit the quarterback play. late. They go over for Jerron Payne, who is the 13th player taken in the draft this year. The first round, one of four first round picks off the Alabama campus. He was drafted by the Redskins. Here's Jalen Waddle. Whoa, that might have saved the touchdown for Ole Miss as he got tackled by Momo Sonogo after a 35-yard return of a 37-yard punt from Matt Brown. Now Waddle showed what he could do as a punt returner in that opener against Louisville. A very exciting young receiver returner. Outstanding short space quickness. Can really make people miss. And you add him to that trio of sophomore wide receivers and the tight end Irv Smith. It's just another weapon <laughs> at the disposal of the quarterback. He got timed at 4-3-7 in the 40, and a couple of his teammates said, oh, no, he's faster than that. Six receiver yard and left tackle. And defensively, they just, I don't know that they've recruited the same level Woo. as they have offensively. How well, about that throw by Matt Jones and a nice catch by Jalen Waddell. 25 yards on the completion and the first completion of his career for Mac Jones with through thrown two touchdowns two passes rather prior to tonight took a big shot too. Tisdale got a big hit on the quarterback from Tuscaloosa Alabama won the toss they'll defer and Texas A&M will receive the kick of Joseph Bullivis and on the other end is Jalen Waddle a freshman and a very dangerous return man. Nice kick. And returnable, though. Yep, got a back pedal all the way to the 21. And here he comes. Waddle across the 40, running out of real estate, but a nice return to the 45. There is a flag down. Mosley tried not to block in the bay. That pedal would be 10 yards from the spot of the foul. Oh, yep. Well, First down. Wasn't Time even out. a good fake. He and tried. Motion man was Waddle. Two of Sets looking downfield, going to get a holding call as he whips it out to Waddle in the flat. And Waddle made a couple of guys miss, but it's all for naught. As we're going to have a holding somewhere. Back. Now we're talking about the receiver that just made the catch, Jalen Waddle. Here was his choices: A&M, TCU, Alabama, Oregon. And he picked up the Alabama hat, and everybody happy. He is a speed burner, a great return guy. Made his first catch there. Even though it was negated by the holy call. Helped his team make a play on Tua. Tua play fake quick throw. Waddle again. Spins away from one guy. Second guy is going to bring him down. Nice open field stop. Caper Smith made the first hit. And then Leon O'Neal holds on another freshman to make the tackle. Well, after you hold, Mike Loxley. Man to punt. Another great punt. And still, it gets to the end zone, though. They're great to look at, yes. but not when they come out to the 20. 62-yarder. But, but number 17 isn't catching it. As Gary said, he's kept it out of Jalen Waddle's hands today, but he's also hit the end zone with some of these bombs he's kicked. Now, he got another one. This one's going to be returnable, though. Waddle backpedals to his own five. Flags are flying in. He's going to negate a nifty little return. Waddle doesn't know that. He's still running all the way out to the 25 on the far side. See, the tough spot for a blocker there is you have no idea what direction Waddle's going. 
So you think you're uh, throwing a legal block, and all of a sudden the defender turns because the ball carrier turns. Ale Kahlo is the guy, number 10, the middle of the screen. Got it for you there, Ness. Yep, nice one. Yep, ready. I want it to be you, but if you want to transfer, you got to tell me now. Because I got to get some. Coach Saban, he's 12 0 against his former assistant turned head coaches. Jalen Hurts throws out in the flat. And this is Waddle breaking a tackle of the freshman with a nice gain off the first play of the fourth quarter. Protection in front of Reese Burns after the last one was blocked, and this one barely gets off. And Waddle will field it at the 37 yard line. This guy can fly. As you see the big hit. As he comes around the corner, he looks for daylight in front, cuts it back to the middle. Watch out. See ya. 63 yards. Jackson Ladner, the deep snapper. You see him taking a shot, it's a clean shot, incidentally. You see that? That's a right shoulder to left shoulder block. Head in front. Already against the Rage and Cajuns. Dealing with it. The red shirt rule, the interface of having four games in play. And how about this throw from the guy that sticks it out? Leader of Alabama's secondary this season with so much inexperience. Waddle fields that one just inside the 30. If you give him a chance to return, it's hard to bring him down. Look at this guy run all over the football field. Changing direction four times. He ordered the football as they're taking another look at this. It was a knuckleball punt. Yeah, he's definitely down. You see that left knee down on the turf. Boy, he was electrifying, though, after he kneeled. And it was... Please reset the game clock. 11 minutes, 54 seconds. All right, all of that for not. Situation so far. Ravaloa to the end zone, in stride to Waddle. Throws that 20-yard strike to Waddle here. And strike is right. You know, they talk about it. He couples two things. His vision and ability to feel and see the field. Feels pressure, understands coverage. And there's his second completion. Hitting Waddle in stride. And watch out. This could go all the way. 90 Five yards. Pretty efficient for Mac Jones. It's downhill from here, kid. You hit Waddle in stride. And we've already seen number 17 for Alabama in this game. He doesn't need a lot of space. That's what they say before each drive. And you know what's coming off that. Play action. And Tua going up high to make the catch is the true freshman Jalen Waddle. First down in the red zone. Adnan, take it away. Something wasn't right. Yeah. Sophomore went to the same school in Hawaii as Marcus Mariota. Mariota was a mentor of Tua's. And he throws a strike inside the five to Waddle. It's another Alabama first down. And as soon as they get that running game going, here comes naked. But it gives you a chance because these other teams right now that Alabama is facing, they have such personnel advantages that uh, it doesn't matter what you do scheme-wise. And I've always felt with Alabama's personnel, if you're going to beat them, they're going to have to do something to help you beat them. Wada was anticipating. Did you see that? He was anticipating them kicking away from him. He was in the middle of the field, so he took off before the kick. On the snap, he ran over here because they were they didn't want to put it in Waddle's hands because of how dynamic he is with the football true freshman is 5'10 177 pounds and is already a great playmaker but that was interesting just kind of watching him handle that is so good for the sport and for their development here's Waddle I, I know too that every circumstance is different and so there are a lot of people upset with Kelly Bryant and then there are a lot of people that understand why he did it how did Alabama convince Jalen Hurts to stay? Why did it work for Hurts to stay and not go somewhere else? It's a completely different situation than Kelly. A bunch of more starts to prove that he's capable for NFL scouts. 
Hurts, and it's complete to Waddle for a first down on third and seven. On a beautiful Saturday night. Moved into a starting role. He's played so well. Play fake. Tonga Bailoa throwing and completing to Jalen Waddle, the true freshman. It's a 14 yard reception plus the 15 yard penalty. And tied on the move. Tonga Bailoa throwing. That ball was tipped in the middle, and Waddle still able to make the grab inside the 20. It looked like Beckner again had a chance to get a finger on that ball. This is the same call they just ran just to the other side, to the wide side of the field. That monsoon last week let a snap go right through his fingers. And that putt is muffed and recovered by Jalen Waddle. Nearly disastrous for Alabama. The 52 yard. The voice of the legendary John Ward. Waddle in motion on the top of the screen. Tonga Valoa looking that way, waiting, and throws short in the middle to Waddle, and he's got the first down. Yeah, they, Needed 10, they got 11. The key was the protection. Because you're going to get a little in and then back out, and he had to wait on it. Wait, 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 and there he is wide open on the out route after he curled in. If he didn't have four seconds to throw there, that would have not been a complete pass. In the backfield now with Tua Tagovailoa. Play fake. Tua loads it. Goes deep for Waddle. Got him in stride. Waddle down the sideline. You can forget about it. Touchdown, Alabama. Come on. How do you do this? 77 yards. I mean, it's one thing to have a play dialed up and throw it as you're backing to your left, but putting it right on the money. Jalen Waddle is playing for Devontae Smith. Watch him go across the field. He's not that wide open. He just delivers the ball right on him, right in stride. People don't do this kind of stuff. <laughs> And a shock to Vol Nation right now. Sometimes things leave you speechless, Gee. like that last pass. Well, I, I've done this. Okay, now watch this. <laughs> Shy Tuttle is going to put some pressure on him. He feels it, but he knows he's got to throw. That's not that wide open. He's like a, a yard open, 35 yards down the field. He splits the safeties, Nigel Warrior. When you throw strikes that far down the field, uh, there's no defense safe. I like this one. They've had the ball for four minutes and 21 seconds, and they have 21 points. Yeah. And and the, the scary part, this is just a normal game. Right side, 30, 15, 10, 5. How are you? Another one. Waddle backpedals, takes it. At the 20, he gives some ground, trying to get ground. Flags are going to fly all over the place. Couple of blocks, illegal blocks combined. Yeah, that ball will be back to around the seven, eight yard line now because it was. And uh, if you're really doing offense at the level that Alabama's playing, you say, uh, okay, that's the way to go. Bailey Buchanan, number 28, is the guy that got the block in the back. Great drop this time. Tonga Valoa down the middle and in done. stride. Jalen Waddle again. I'll tell you, the late Kenny Stable would be proud of this throw, wouldn't he? Move up in the pocket, load with that left hand, wait for the crossing route, and deliver it. Apparently, that's what he's not happy about in the first half. Tonga Valoa over the middle, and Waddle's got a first down. Jalen Waddle has been a big part of this today because of the fact that. That hurt last week in the win over Missouri. I'm just not sure if Tennessee's players tried out for Alabama, if more than one or two could even play, start for Alabama. I, I mean, you just look around and go, who would you put on the bet? The sideline is Bedlam already. LSU won the toss and deferred. Remember, Alabama scored a touchdown on every opening drive through eight games to uh, the throw might be another first down just a little bit short so a 14 yard pickup and put some pressure on him waddle has to backpedal and call fair catch again dropped the ball but he covered it 
right about at the 24. And that's where Alabama will have it back. 15, here comes everybody after Tagovailoa. Fires, far sideline, caught, or is he out? Waddle, what a catch to keep his feet down. It was not a designed back shoulder throw. It was just an underthrow. And when you're out there by, by yourself, Kristen Fulton, the ball is underthrown, and that's a freshman that knows how to play receiver right there. Wow. Knows where he is on the field. Waddle, if he has to fair catch, it's going to be around the 50. It is a good kick. Waddle will take it at the 49. Trying to give some ground to gain some, and he almost lost the ball, and he did lose some yardage. So it's still at the 45 with a timeout left. Do you think those big guys we talked about will love this weather, though? No doubt. You and I were talking about if you're playing. Here comes a blitz. Talk about Loa. A little dance, and then the throw to the sideline to Waddle. First down. Watch Damian Harris pick up the blitz and allow two to go from the right side to the left side, come back to the outside, and of course, another perfect throw. I mean, I don't know what they don't have. I, I what is it, our fourth game? Yeah. I'm running out of stuff to say, and we're going to do it two more times. Two more times. The championship game against Georgia. That's the smarts, being able to play two positions. Tagovailoa scrambles and throws on the run got it to waddle waddle with a couple of moves trying to do his imitation of jerry judy <laughs> does a pretty good job of it this defense was rated very highly great athletes and they are showing you that this is a tussle two is not standing back there in that nice pocket Jones and quarterback damian harris with him in the backfield of the 42 yard line of mississippi state play action jones loads goes out to waddle and Waddle gets about five out of it. You can't come into this ball game being complacent or this team will hurt you. And that's the biggest thing that they have to overcome today in this ball game. Perhaps throw the football here on third and seven. Here comes some heat. They'll go deep over the middle. Pass is caught. Easy route. Jalen Waddle with the catch across midfield. A 29-yard pickup there in Span bringing him down. Yeah, still what comes with a blitz, but he still has time. The offensive line does a great job of picking it up. Aaron Span back there on the coverage, and Jalen Waddle coming up with a big catch. But throughout the year, Josh Jacobs in the game at running back. They will give it off to Waddle, and he will turn the corner close to a 10-yard pickup. Right at the line to gain. That should be good enough to move the chains. Michael Loxley, the offensive coordinator for Alabama, talked about Jalen Waddle and the speed he has. Called him lightning in the bottle. As you can see, just trying to get him in space any way possible. And he turns the corner and does a great job of getting north and south, picking up another first down. Alabama averaging 48 and a half points a game, third best in the country. Trying to put up their first points this afternoon. Going to the end zone here, and there it is. Touchdown, Alabama. 21 yards. Jalen Waddle with the touchdown catch. Seven nothing, Crimson Tide. Waddle had three catches on that drive. 60 yards and a touchdown. Finding Jalen Waddle in the back of the end zone. Pressure comes to the end zone. A leaping grab. Touchdown, Alabama. Jalen Waddell with his second today. Couple big plays on the outside. And watch Waddle go up and get that right foot down. And that's a touchdown. Great ball by Tua to get that on the outside shoulder. and. What a momentum swing here for Alabama to take this football down the field on the arms of Tua Tungabaloa. Tungabaloa getting it done with his arm. His second touchdown pass today. Waddle with a chance to return it here. Slips on the turf. 46-yard punt, give him a five-yard return. But he didn't ask out to make a chance of seeing it. Here goes Waddle coming near side and makes a man miss. Now dancing around and makes something out of nothing. 
Gain of nine. Let's go down to Dawn. Yeah, Dave and DJ, you guys talking about G. Well, we drum roll. Figure out who your winner is. Here's Hertz. Dropbacks coming near side and passes caught there by Waddle. Alabama won the toss and deferred. There's the series record. Actually, Auburn leads in games in Tuscaloosa because Waddle is right around the 50 yard line. Sip is to punt. He's going straight up with it here. Waddle has to. Oh, got fair catching a run over. And there's flags all over, and I hope he's not hurt because he was not looking. He was only looking at the ball. And Javaris Davis just leveled him. And that brings out the Boo Birds here at Bryant Denny. The respect for Waddle had the end over end kick. You talk about not seeing one coming. Well, I'll tell you, it's it's shocking right now, the lack of discipline that this Auburn football team is playing with early in this football game. Emotionally, I don't know if they're too up for this game or what, but they're not ready to play. Taylor Waddle's going to run off on his own. That's good to see. Man, you get hit enough when you see him coming without something like this happening. Pilgrims is fourth from the spot of the foul. First down. And he's, and he's fortunate that it wasn't even targeting. I mean, it was close. Damon Waddle is back in there. And the rugby style kick, and Waddle will have a crack at this one from the 31. And goes down to the 31. Oh, nice what a, job what a by play. Jamal Dean. Yeah, what a play. Wow. Players in football right there. Josh Jacobs, one of my favorite players. Play fake to Harris. Tagovailoa going deep. Man out there. Waddle, and it's going to be a flag as he was being dragged down by Javaris Davis. It's remarkable weapons that Alabama is featuring that you have to stop. Five different receivers, a tight end and four receivers. Number 13, 15 yard penalty, automatic first down. Very clear call right there. Five different receivers. Irv Smith and the four receivers are averaging over 18 yards of reception. They only bring three. Tagovailoa, but still that three's going to get there. He gets away, throws late, and it's incomplete, isn't it? Or did he catch it? Called it a catch, but it's going to be close. Yeah, well, it's still going to be fourth down anyway. Yeah, but a lot closer. The getaway, as you thought it was a sack, we thought maybe it was a sack too because of the outside. But this makes it a much easier field goal. Let's take a look one more time. Yeah, I thought Derek Brown had him back Ooh, there. I don't know if that's a catch or not. But. Well, I can't get any closer look, but they should look at it because it's a big difference in the field goal. There's 36 touchdowns, two interceptions. Jalen Hurts in for him, and Jalen comes up throwing down the middle. Jalen Waddle, Jalen to Jalen. Waddle, great speed, he's gone, touchdown. Remember a year ago, it was Jalen Hurts clapping for Tua as he came into the game. And then once Waddle gets it, he's, we talk about fast players on the field. He's one of the fastest on the field. And you can feel it in the air of Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta. It's the SEC Championship on CBS, presented by Dr. Pepper. So Jake Camarda, the freshman punter, is inside his own five to kick. Not the greatest punt. It's going to be fielded at the 35 by Jalen Waddle. Waddle got the edge. He's at midfield. Waddle all the way down to the 29-yard line. Making the plays in the punt game. But Gaden Waddle has not had the opportunity until now. And you show he's got Hardman's speed. And what a play on not getting a clip that time by Josh Jacobs. Put his hands up in the air and just shielded the last guy so there was no doubt the call could be made against him. Tagovailoa down the middle, got his man. And it's Jalen Waddle who bounces off the tackle. There's a big play they were looking for out to the 45-yard line. As you said a little earlier, enormous amount of time left in this football game coming right to the middle and this time it's not a drop ball this Georgia defense trying to keep everything in front of them so you have to be patient he's in a slot on the left 
Tagovailoa throws complete Waddle in full stride. Jalen Waddle gone. Touchdown Alabama. Keep shooting. I'm due. 51 yards. Again, he shows his speed. Might be the fastest guy on the team, the true freshman. Jalen Waddle took it and got to the corner. No contest. Watch this acceleration after the catch. Right there it is. I see it. 72 yards in four plays. That's more like the Alabama we've seen all year. And they've drawn to within seven. And then to a tag of a low on the crossing route to Jalen Waddle, 51 yards, and that's where we sit. With Third and five for him here. Georgia brings the extra man. Hurts trying to run away from the heat. Lofts one on the sideline. Is it caught by Waddle? Yes. As Tyler Clark, number 52, puts the pressure right up the middle. Kalen gets, Kalen gets away. Pick up a 19 to the 31. Jalen Hurts looking for more. Going to the far sideline. He's got Waddle again. Breaks out. Perfect throw. Gets to the right guy with an excellent pass. In the national championship game, Alabama played for the field goal to win the game. They beat reaction. Ever handles the place kicking, the kickoff, and the punting. One of only two guys doing it, and the returner is just ran into. And the ball is going to be down at the 45-yard line. That was Jalen Waddle. He's still down. As is Job, one of his blockers. I think one of his own players ran into him. It looked like his own player to me. But look. Right there. Yeah. That's why it wasn't kick catch interference. Yeah. Enormous sequence here, Kirk. If Oklahoma can somehow keep him out of the end zone, force a field goal, it would still be a, a two score game. It's a low throw and a sliding catch made at the 10-yard line by Waddle. Yeah, you know, they've thrown so many quick slants that I'm surprised Oklahoma hasn't changed their alignment and given, the, given these receivers more inside leverage, try to take away those slants. Waddle standing at his 37. Spires rolls and kicks it rugby style short. And Waddle on the hop, a dangerous play in traffic, but it works as he scoots near midfield. Pretty bold. Very bold. Tremendous multi-purpose back. That's why you think he's headed for success on Sundays, big time. Got 16 that time. He fake it to him, slant. They're all over it. Jalen Waddle, a speedy guy, corralled quickly by Wallace. Very surprised that Tua has not taken shots. No pressure this time. And a long delivery on the sidelines to Waddle, who's muscled out, but it's first and goal. Actually, a little mix-up. One of the few mistakes we've seen from Clemson. Watch this on coverage. Couple guys take Devontae Smith to recognize it right at the line of scrimmage. Just waited until...